Hello and welcome to Infinity. When we're using curves, there can be an unwanted effect in that colors can get changed. Let's see how we do this. Let's go to adjustments and pull up curves for this layer here. Now if we just say, just a simple example, pull this down so we're darkening it. We'll pull it down to the one point here just so we can get back to this. And have a look at this here. Let's just show the curves layer. This bit here has gone quite orange. Notice that before it was pretty yellow. Now it's gone quite orange. And also other colours have also been changed, but this is quite obvious. So what can we do about it? There are several ways that we can get around this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go Control J one, two, three times, which is copying that three layers at a time. So we're going to do slightly different things each time. And we'll keep this one here as a, a reference. So let's start off. And one way to do this is to go from RGB to CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow and black. And then go here to the black curve. So now if we want to adjust this, then we can adjust this in other ways. You can't see it at the moment because there's layers above it, which I have not turned off. There we go. So now we should be able to see this one. Turn the layer on again. There we go. Now we can see that when we move this around, notice how this bit of flower here is not going orange like it was before. So I, so to, to darken this, I'm going to push it up because I'm adding more black. Um, but the color is, is not changing. So I'll just leave that there for now. And um, we'll call that one CMYK. There. Um, let's call this one original. And the next one, turn that one on so we can see it. And bring up the curves. We can go to LAB, which is there, which is lightness A channel and B channel, where A is red green and B is blue yellow. So now, now we can go down to the lightness, which is effectively black and white, and we can now adjust this and bring this down to darken it up to lightness. So I'll put it down to that same point there where we were darkening before. And this is now, if I turn this off, We'll see the one with the CMYK, which is a bit different. And we'll turn off the CMYK so you can see it against the original and see it's definitely not so orange as the original. So hang on, where are we? there we go. There's the, the one we've done and there's the original. So we've kept that yellow color even though we've just darked it, darkened it. So let's rename that to L A B. And finally, we're going to do one up here and go back to the curves layer because when we copied it, we copied the that downwards curve as well. And here we actually leave it on RGB, but we go down to the blend modes. And then in here, we go down to luminosity. So effectively, it's going to take it's applied this this only to the lightness and darkness. And if we turn this off, we'll see the LAB one. You can see there's hardly any difference at all between LAB and the luminosity mix, which effectively means you can use those interchangeably. So if we turn off the LAB and turn on the CMYK, then you can see there, so this is a the one we just did with the luminosity blend. That's quite different to that, and it's different again, of course, to the original. 
which is the nice orange one. Right, let's put these back up here. I'll call this one Luminosity Blend. And we'll just close up these so we can see them just as each of they are originally. So that's the Luminosity Blend one. Turn that off. An almost identical LAB one. Turn that off. CMYK one, different. And the original very orange changed. So each one of these has approved it. CMYK has changed it. The LAB has changed it differently. And the luminosity blend is closer to the LAB than it is to the CMYK. So that gives you three choices. I will often use luminosity blend because I can leave it on RGB where it starts off. And I can just do that blend. But sometimes I want to do another blend on what I've done already. So if I'm using up the, the blend mode, then I will switch to the LAB and use the, the L in that. And then I've still got the blend mode I can use on something else. So there we go. Hope that was interesting and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.